Don't move. I guess we're waiting for Okay. So yeah, my name's Steve. I'm more of a technology person than a modeler. Um, I like the electronic piece of it, the programming side of things. Um, I've been working on uh, this kind of stuff for quite a long time with, uh, with AJ. I've known him since, uh, I think, September 11th. If some of you remember that, that day, things changed a lot. But uh, I was at a show, and we were showing local palm. If anybody ever played with that, that was one of my creations back then. And I've always kind of stayed in touch with it. And now what we've done is, uh, I've got a little demo case over here, and I wanted just to show you the app, just to kind of get some feedback from people and just see what you guys think of this. Um, in the box over here, what we have is uh, the, uh, the, the three boxes that you're kind of familiar with as far as the, the form factor. Um, the PR3, which is the USB interface that you're familiar with, the uh, DS64, the switch control, and then the new box, the Wi-Fi, looks exactly the same. Um, same local net, two local net inputs uh, can also be powered from an external source um, or it will take power off the, the local net bus. And then the, uh, the Zephyr there in the case, there's also a, a block detection hardware. The layout is then here that's on the table that I'm hopefully going to be connected to here. Um, has signaling underneath it, so there's a little signaling mask there. A couple switches um, that I can control. And the apps that we're looking at doing here, we call it, uh, they're actually down here, unfortunately. Um, but I'll bring it up in a second, you'll see it. Um, control Tower 1, and we're, we're labeling it that way for a single throttle configuration. We're also envisioning a Control Tower 2, which will be a dual configuration. And then some utility uh, applications. There'll be one um, that will allow you to do configurations of the command station. We're also envisioning some, uh, some signaling configuration, maybe some uh, decoder programming. So let me just uh, bring up the, the, the kind of the, the one we're starting things off, Control Tower 1. Um, the beauty of the Wi-Fi system is that it, it is everywhere. I mean, you name it, you've got Wi-Fi coming out of our ears. Um, and it makes sense to to use that interface as a medium to talk to this. So that box is basically a bridge. It's bridging Wi-Fi devices to local net. Um, you're going to go up, okay, then. Um, and the, okay, yeah, we've got a little switch there on the bottom. So this is the, the screen that you'll come to. There'll be a configuration section here. You can just click on the control tower, and there'll be some modes. We're, we're still working out some of the logistics of this. This is the beta version. Um, you'll be able to not only operate in a standalone mode, which means that you don't need any computer hardware. You buy that box, you have a Wi-Fi device, and it'll connect peer-to-peer -to, -peer to it and allow you to control that, those devices. Um, that's important for some of us that don't want to get the computer out and, you know, and boot it up. And for some that do like that, there's still an option for that. They're what we call our, our um, connected mode. And what that mode is for is it allows you to then configure the box to connect into your home network. So then it's just basically a device hanging off your home network, and then it allows you to tunnel in through that port, not only controlling this, but also you can get internet connection. So you got you know more uh, versatility as far as that configuration. Then if I go into the throttle, one of the things that we're really looking at is we want to do um, just a gorgeous user interface, because that's really what this kind of device lends itself to. Apple done a fabulous job on this. Um, this is kind of a first start at it, uh, giving you all the functions. Um, track power, so I can come up here and, and click on track power. Track power just one on over there. Um, nice mo mode if I want to come in here, select a train. I think I have uh, 18, 18 uh, sitting down there. Um, hit a direction, you get some feedback um, on that if I want to make the train go. Bring up the throttle. Blow the horn. I mean, that was pretty easy to get running. <laughs> uh, hit stop. You got some nice visual feedback there. A really cool mode. It's going to be maybe hard. Oh, I guess I could show this. Let's say that I was running forward and I want to take advantage of some of the sensors that are in the iPad. I can turn on tilt control. And now when I tilt, and I can stop, you know, either direction by 
simply tilting it. Oops, lost my connection. <laughs> Help me out the block. So the connection there is still good. It's my video. Sorry. Sorry about that. I just have that in. So we're taking advantage of some of the sensors that are in the device. Um, oh, there you go. Good idea. Let's actually hook it up. So that's the throttle page. Um, and I was going to show you just a couple other features of that. Bear with me a second here. Let me plug back in. Um, so we wanted to we wanted to develop this interface that just was you know popped out at you. All the function keys uh, that you're familiar with. We got LEDs, so you can when you click on them, you're going to get feedback with the little LED. We're still deciding on uh, you know how that final look and feel will be. Um, the other thing that you can do here is uh, you can increment the speed. So if you want to you know bring it up one at a time, a little more gradual. Again, stop it. Um, I can go to my my individual switch control. So now I can label the switches. Um, I can throw close. So I got two switches here, and you'll probably just be able to hear them. There it goes. It's switch two. It's toggling. So I can label them all. Those will all get saved. You can label the route. Um, if you want to get more exotic, you can come down here and actually set up a route. So now I can I can set up a number of switches, and I'm now throwing, you know, whatever string that you put in here that defines your layout. <coughs> You can set up some pretty exotic, exotic routes. So that's the first app that's um, kind of targeted for the Wi-Fi uh, box. The other ones that we're planning, I'll just kind of give you a sneak, sneak preview of things. Um, Control Tower 2 is um, uh, it's targeted for a, a two-throttle configuration, and you'll see what it looks like here in a second. Uh, oops, i got to get into the... There it is. So it'll have basically two throttles, and if you think about this, this this can go a lot of different ways. I mean, we could usually do four, you know, eight, and you name it. Um, and basically what happens here is once you're, you're, you make a, a connection, um, the active throttle, the tilt will still work based on the throttle that's, that's being used. So we're, we're, looking, we're experimenting with some of those, uh, those things now. Um, and I'll just go back to the uh, this throttle here. And what I'm going to do is it connecting back up. I can, you know, power the system down just like you're used to with your normal, normal throttle. Um, it also has a recall uh, mechanism. So up here, if you click on this little top part, you're now going to get a stack view of your trains that were, that were connected. And you can scroll through them. There isn't any selected now because I just opened the app. But uh, this would be your typical Apple, you know, bring recall a locomotive so you don't have to type back in every time uh, the number of the train. So that's one of the new things we're working on and uh, should be available soon. Okay. Is that going to be bought through the App Store? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll reside. Uh, Apple requires all apps to go through the App Store. And it's really nice because of the support mechanism that's done there and the automation that, that, that it has. Uh, we're also looking at the, I've got a prototype of it on the, on the iPhone. Um, can't, sorry, I can't plug it in, but uh, it, it basically will have the same kind of look and feel, single throttle. Um, a lot of people say, well, this is pretty expensive to run your train. Well, the thought is you've already purchased this for a totally different reason. This is just a, you know, there's an app for that kind of thing. It, it, it's, it's pretty inexpensive if you already own the ha hardware. It'll also work on the older 3G phones as well as the iTouches. So if you do want to get in the market and don't want to sign up for a phone plan, you can certainly go down that path as well and just pick up an inexpensive iPad, or excuse me, iTouch, uh, and basically get the control working as well. But we really see the big thing coming from the iPad as far as what you can do with it, and this is just touching the iceberg here, I think, of, of things to come. Um, not for everybody, but certainly my kid has always been telling me that, why can't I control the train? You know, this is what they're used to. So we see that generation definitely moving up and it's getting more and more exciting on that. So, are there any questions? Yeah? Uh, the Wi Fi box, could I replace the PR1 a little bit? Uh, there's no plan to replace anything. No, and because it's going to transmit, I can put it in my own network, which means I can go to my computer. You could, yes. And then I can use the computer without going through that other interview. That is 
a possibility. But yeah. some reason I never the, so this was conceived in my view for a simple connection Wi-Fi. <coughs> That's it. I mean, however it, is, it transforms itself, great. Let the form take it from there. It's just a connection point to get wireless Wi-Fi to local net. Um, could also do a Bluetooth, um, although you find much more uh, Wi-Fi than anything else, but we did consider Bluetooth at one point. Okay? Yes? Is it N? Yes. Um, what security do you have on it, or is this going to be the first case of a railroad getting hacked? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, good, good question. Um, so, Wi-Fi Security was built from the ground up. Um, to get extremely good security, what you would do is you'd go back, uh, so I can just come back to this mode. Um, this, if I switch into connected mode, now you're gonna enter in your network SSID that you have in your home and a WAP key. And most people are gonna have a pretty secure network nowadays. Uh, we've seen a lot of the, the older days where you have no security, but that's pretty much gone now. It does require you to enter a key and then the Wi-Fi box will make a peer-to-peer -peer connection to your uh, wireless home router very secure. It's going to use the latest WAP2 or whatever you have enabled in your box if you choose that method. If you choose the simpler uh, standalone method, now it's a peer-to-peer -peer and there's very minimal security and sure, there's that, that's a mode where you are a little more exposed, but you know, we're, we're talking about a model train here, so we're not too concerned about, about that. So you have the option of how secure you want to make it. Yeah. Uh, would you ever consider a split screen application where you'd have a camera in the locomotive? So, that <laughs> <laughs> so that's already, I'll say no more. We, we, yes, we're, considering, we're considering all of that. Yeah. There's also a lot of sound built. I mean, this is coming from here, so we're going to give you different sound effects that you can bring in from just this point of view to add to the whole experience. Okay. Great. Oh, another question? Yes. I'm pretty naive about this, but what happens if I'm using a phone to control the train and I get a phone call? You know what? It, that's, that's actually, absolutely, that happens to me more times than I. I've done a lot of demos in uh, wireless communication for home automation, and it seems like every time I do a demo like that, I get a phone call. And, it, and the way they've got the OS written, um, it'll uh, gracefully drop in the background. The phone will take priority. You take the call. As soon as you uh, leave the call, your, the app pulls back up. Now, if you're having, a, in this case, if the train was being controlled, and you, because I've got you know end stops here, you would probably want to stop the call pretty quick. <laughs> but in a continuous layout, obviously, that would not be. We saw that in the prototype. Pardon me? We saw that in the prototype. The engineer was on the phone instead of watching. Okay. <laughs> that can occur here as well. That's why I prefer the iPad in my preference. That's what I'm going to be using. But we're going to do the iPhone as well. Yes. In the future, might it be possible to have multiple iPads with multiple panels on it? Um, Another one that's very interesting, yes, yes, definitely. Uh, we're looking at a, a system right now where we can put multiple iPads together, kind of like what you do in the PC world today. Can you use it to take the radio, I mean, I mean radio from a speak, speaking perspective? Right? Like uh, yes, um, so one of the beauties of connecting the train, the, excuse me, the Wi-Fi box to your home network, once you've got that backbone of a wireless network to a IP that's outside your house, then in the app what we'll, what we'll expose is, uh, let's say I want to connect into the local Union Pacific scanner, um, it will feed that information right to the iPad and give you that even more depth of, of control. I'm actually thinking, that's cool, I'm actually thinking, setting aside my UK friend, uh, something a little simpler whereby instead of having operators have Area, headsets around uh, to get in touch with the dispatch or the TTO or whatever yeah. it's, yeah. what to do, assuming it's not the way. 
Yeah, you do voice over IP. Yeah, voice over IP kind of thing. Yeah, you become a radio as well. Sure. That's a very good suggestion. Yes? A semi-religious question. What about Android? <laughs> Android, what about that? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> no. Oh, you got it. Okay, there you go. You can ask that gentleman. <laughs> I, we, we're not. Apple's development uh, system is the best in the world, absolutely by far, and, and I'll stand up to that all day long. It's a fabulous environment. So we're kind of dedicated to providing apps on, on this platform. Okay. But it is a Wi-Fi interface, so you know, it's pretty open that. Okay, anything else? Some of you guys think you might want to use? How many iPhone users are here? I'm curious. Okay, well, that tells us. <laughs> Great, all right, well, thank you.